Hi there, um, today we are looking at 2011 HSC Mathematics paper, question 10. <clears throat> For uh, this paper, the last question is question 10, rather than question 16, which was the case for um, other papers, um, papers beyond uh, 2011. Uh, the intensity I measured in what a square meter of a sun is given by I is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the power of 0.1 L, where L is the loudness of the sun in decibel. Part I. If the loudness of a sun at the concert is 110 decibels, find the intensity of the sun. Give your answer in scientific notation. Um, the first question is uh, only a matter of uh, substitution. So um, they have given us um, the value of uh, L, which is 110. And we have the formula I is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the power of 0.1 L substituting uh, uh, 110 for L will give, uh, will give us I is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the power of 0.1 times 110 and uh, typing that in your calculator and writing your answer to three significant figures will be 5.99 times 10 to the minus 8 to uh, three significant figures. That is for part I. For part I, I They are saying that air damage occurs if the density of a sound is greater than 8.1 times 10 to the minus 9 watt per square meter. What is the maximum loudness of a sound so no air damage occurs? Okay, so um, basically uh, here again uh, um, is a matter of substitution, but this time around we are substituting for uh, I itself. So I write on the formula they have given us again, I is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the power of 0.1L. And uh, the value of I they have given us is 8.1 times 10 to the minus 19. And if we sub this here, 8.1 times 10 to the minus 19 is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the 0.1L. And uh, dividing both sides by 10 to the minus 12 gives us 8.1 times 10 to the minus 19 over 10 to the minus 12 is equal to e to the power of 0.1L. Then taking uh, log from both sides, ln from both sides, that gives us ln of this fraction is equal to ln of this, which is just 0.1 L. And then dividing both sides by 0.1 gives us ln of 8.1 times 10 to the minus 19 over 10 to the minus 12 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to L. And if you type that in your calculator, you will get L is equal to 19. Um, for part 3, um, by how much will the loudness of a sound has increased? if its intensity has doubled. So as you can see, um, 
in this type of questions, um, it is not important where you start from, um, no matter um, what your starting point is, um, for a certain uh, increase in your uh, intensity, your uh, uh, loudness, um, for a certain in, uh, increase in intensity, um, in terms of its ratio, so if the intensity has doubled or tripled, then you have a certain increase in your loudness. Um, okay, um, so basically, again, the formula we have, R is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the power of 0.1L. Okay, so that is intensity and L is loudness. Um, they say that the intensity has uh, doubled, so um, we can um, um, uh, write it as 2L, uh, 2I, and then uh, see what happens to L. Uh, in other words, uh, what I can do, I can say uh, my initial intensity is uh, I1, and I have 10 to the minus 12 times e to the 0.1 L1. So the intensity uh, of I1 corresponds to the loudness of L1. Now I want my intensity to double. So 2 times I1 is equal to 10 to the minus 12 times e to the 0.1. Now obviously I have a different loudness, so let's call it L2. Uh, remember, we want to find the difference between L2 and L1. Knowing that the intensity here is double of the previous one. So divide both sides to, together, so divide the left hand side by the left hand side and the right hand side by the right hand side. So I divided this um, uh, 2 by 1. So everything in that uh, equation divided by everything in that equation. Both the right hand side and the left hand side. And then we put them together. Now I1 and I1 cancel, so you get 2. And 10 to the minus 12 and 10 to the minus 12 cancel. And uh, you get. Uh, uh, e to the 0.1 L2 over E to the 0.1 L1 which uh, we have two powers of E divided so we can take away the powers L1 and uh, then we can factorize for um, 0.1 in the power to get L2 minus L1 and next step is um, to take uh, Ln from both sides if I take Ln from both sides I have Ln2 is equal to 0.1 times L2 minus L1 and then I divide both sides by 0 0.1 becomes Ln2 divided by 0 0.1 is L2 minus L1 basically that's what um, they wanted from us but dividing by 0 0.1 is the same as timesing by 10 so 10 Ln2 will be L2 minus L1 and that is our answer.